Miami's Ryder Trauma Center sees about 400 gunshot wound victims a year. We got a gunshot wound to the right femur, uh -huh. entrance, no exit. On this night last summer, doctors and nurses treated several patients with bullets embedded in their legs or literal holes in their hands. You see people on their worst day and they're on death's door. Nurse Beth Sundquist says as a level one trauma center, those who make it here have a better chance. In a matter of minutes, you can have your trauma surgeon here and he's the same one that walks back and is in the operating room with you. And if you went to a smaller outside hospital, you wouldn't survive. What strikes Dr. Gabriel Ruiz is how young many of the victims are. It's the biggest killer of children in our country, and um, that impact, we don't even know how big it is, but we think that it might be bigger than cancer and cardiovascular diseases, smoking and obesity, things that we as a society actively work on. Um, I think the impact of gun violence is greater than those diseases. And the wounds, he says, have become more severe. Patients that have very, very serious injuries with very high energy weapons that actually mimic those that are seen in war, in, in you know, scenarios where there's active war going on. In fact, this is where the U.S. Army trains its trauma surgeons before being deployed. Dr. Ian Fowler, an Army major, is one of the instructors. But I think that it gives them the ability to really work on their team dynamics and hopefully better prepare them for, uh, for if they're about to deploy or any type of activation that they may be having in the future. These doctors and nurses are on the front lines of the nation's gun violence epidemic, removing one bullet at a time, handing it off to police for their criminal investigation, and waiting to see what else the night might bring. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Miami.